there, my name is Amalia and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about four books I read recently. Everyone is reading thrillers on booktube, mystery thrillers. So I thought that uh, for once I'm gonna join them and I'm gonna read some as well. And this is something completely new for me because I normally never ever yes, I can say that, read uh, mystery thrillers. I am more of a fantasy, literary fiction, contemporary, sci-fi. I, I don't really go into thrillers and mysteries or horror. Oh my God, never. But uh, this year I thought I'm gonna try because I see these books recommended over and over again. And I just wanted to see if um, this genre is something for me or not. So I picked up four books and these are quite popular and quite hyped on booktube. So I just wanted to give them a go and see yeah, how, uh, how it goes. The first book I picked up is uh, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I've seen this on booktube quite a lot recently and it is a 2019 release. I think it came out in July. And this one is about um, this girl who is suddenly finds herself homeless and jobless and really in need of money. So she goes to um, apartment sit. She gets this job to apartment sit in this really fancy old apartment building by, um, by, the, by Central Park in Manhattan, in New York. And this is such a famous building because everyone says that creepy things happen, there have been murders there before. So she, she goes in a bit apprehensive of the situation, but the money is so good, I mean, she gets paid a lot just for being in that apartment. So she's like, never mind, I'm not going to listen to any of the bad uh, comments about this uh, apartment building. I'm just going to do it and uh, it's only for the money. So this was not such a, a chunky, chunky book. I mean, 360 pages and quite a fast paced, easy read. Um, it's really a page turner. It really sets the mood and it's really spooky. You don't know what's happening. And there are a lot of um, the residents introduced. So, and all of them have their own quirks. Um, and the, our main character is trying to figure out uh, what's happening in the building because she's hearing noises and just, just some creepy stuff happening. But then one of the other apartment sitters disappears and she just became friends with her. So she's really trying to figure out uh, what happened. So for a thriller, I think this is a pretty good one. I mean, uh, it's, as I said, it's really a page turner. It's easy read. I read it in like two sittings and something like that. And I can really see this being made into a movie because... It's just the setting. I can imagine one of those apartment buildings by a central park. And it's just, it has gargoyles on, on the top. And she's, uh, her, her room is looking out on one. And, and um, it's just really, really a great um, setting for something like this. I gave this three stars. Just a solid uh, average read. What I didn't like about it is that... Uh, I didn't really connect to the main character and some of the things happening just didn't make sense or, or, or just I just felt that there was something missing. At the end, uh, I didn't see coming at all, but I just felt disappointed by it in a way. I just wanted something more, maybe something more sinister or something more creepy than what actually happened. So it's really highly recommended and a lot of people enjoy it. And if you're into thrillers, you probably read it or you're planning to read it because this is one of the big thriller titles of this year, I think. So read it, but for me, it wasn't the best one. Then I picked up The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. This has been all over booktube ever since it came out uh, last year in 2018 and it is a much beloved mystery thriller. It is a bit thicker than the other one, about 450 pages, but it is such a fast-paced, easy read. We follow Anna Fox. She's a psychiatrist, but she has been uh, through a big trauma and uh, she is unable to leave her house. She has agoraphobia, so the fear of the outdoors. So she spends all her time in her apartment. Her groceries are delivered, her medicine is delivered uh, um, to her doorstep and she rented out her basement so uh, to someone who can help her to, dif to do different chores around the house or outside of the house that she cannot do. 
she's on the medication, uh, she's on the treatment, but at the same time she is an alcoholic. So this makes her kind of an unreliable character. She's also very much into old uh, Hollywood movies, the black and white movies, uh, more, more like scary, thrillery type of movies. Because her life is so limited, she spends her time on the internet, but she also uh, spies on her neighbors uh, through, her, through a window. She has a really good view on, um, on most of her street. So uh, we start by seeing uh, a new family move into the neighborhood, and then shortly after, she sees someone get murdered. So because she's on medication, but she's also uh, drinking a lot of alcohol, when she contacts the police about uh, what she witnessed, she's not really believed. I really enjoyed this book. I really like the atmosphere A.J. Finn created. You really feel claustrophobic. You smell the house. You, it's re it's, I mean, it's mentioned over and over how there's a particular smell in the house because she's not airing out the house how unkept she is, her hair is, uh, is hanging in chunks, she's always in this robe. So you really feel present in the story and it's really like almost like a 3D movie where you're in it and you're really smelling and experiencing and you see all the glasses of alcohol lying everywhere. So it's, it's, it's really creepy as well, uh, the way she experiences things and, and when the mystery stuff start to, start to happen. I really enjoyed this one. It was a really fast-paced, easy read. But unfortunately, even for such an unexperienced uh, mystery thriller reader, I have guessed um, some of the twists. I cannot give it more than a solid three star again. I think I enjoyed it a bit better than Lock Every Door though. I think it has really better characters and the setting and the whole... I mean, generally, it's, it, is, it is a better one than Lock Every Door. So three stars from me. Did you read this? Did you enjoy it as well? Uh, I find it odd that I guessed the twist though. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> then I picked up The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. I picked this up in Danish, but I don't know if that was a mistake because I normally don't don't read in Danish. I read really few books in Danish, even though I live in Denmark and I speak Danish uh, on a daily basis. But I all all my reading is in English. So because of this, I think I felt a bit removed from the story. I was always aware of myself reading um, reading it, but. Um, Nonetheless, uh, this was such a great experience. I mean, um, it was such a unique way of writing about marriage. This is about a marriage and then this is about um, the husband leaving the, the wife for, for, for the mistress. It is more like a psychological thriller, I would say. I really enjoyed this one. I really liked being into the main character's head. I really enjoyed trying to figure out if what she's saying and what she's thinking really happened or is it just in her head. And I think in the future I will pick up more psychological thrillers. So if you have read any which are really good in a similar vein, please, please let me know because I would really, really appreciate that. I give this one four stars and uh, I cannot believe that uh, it's written by two authors. I mean, they did such an amazing job. I highly recommend it. Then I picked up another very recent release, and it is Someone We Know by Shari Lepina. It was really a page turner, and there were so many twists and turns, and there's so many different plot twists, and so many different threads that kind of pull the whole thing together, that it was really like a maze. It was really interesting to read and see how all these different uh, threads will come together or, or and the mystery will be solved. So this one is set in upstate New York in a very quiet suburban neighborhood where everyone knows each other, everyone is friends with each other. There's this couple who which moved in not that long ago. They kind of shook things up. But at the same time, there's also this teenager who is sneaking into people's houses and uh, snooping around. So, of course, he, he is privy to some of the secrets. When a woman is murdered, an investigation uh, starts and then this kind of uh, unravels the secrets and the whole neighborhood is like kind of in an uproar because of it. 
I really enjoyed this one because it had, as I said, so many twists and turns and so many just things I didn't see coming. And it was like a puzzle. I think, yeah, that's the right word, a puzzle, because many things like I could not anticipate and many things I could not imagine like happening. So the end really took me by surprise. I really did not see that one coming. And I can really, really see why this is such a hyped uh, mystery thriller. I really enjoy it. I highly recommend it. I gave it four stars. So those were four of the mystery thrillers I read recently. I'm on such a kick that I've also read quite a few root wear books. <laughs> I think I think I'm going to do a, a special video um, dedicated to her books uh, in the near future. So stay tuned for that. What are you reading this time of the year? Are you into spooky books as well? Or are you preparing for Christmas? I can't believe the end of the year is coming so fast. Time has flown by. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what is the next book you're planning to pick up. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye!